Welcome back to Halftime Report on CNBC TV 18. Well, uh, let's talk about Greaves Cotton. The company reported a very good set of numbers for Q4. The revenues for FY23 on the whole came in at a record high with almost a 60% growth. And it's Greaves' uh, electric mobility segment that saw a more than doubling of their revenue growth in the year gone by. It was 116% growth. My colleague Parikshit Luthra caught up with Nagesh Basavan Hali, the vice chairman of Greaves Cotton, began by asking about their Q4 performance and also delved into their growing electric vehicle business. Listen in. In terms of Q4, we had, I think, one of our best ever quarters. And uh, at the outset, the journey that we set out, right, in terms of transitioning from a B2B to a B2B plus B2C, getting closer to the consumer and uh, extracting life cycle value, I think is manifested in some of these results. Today, we are about 66% B2C company. Uh, clearly, three distinct verticals. The traditional uh, components business or the engines business now has both engines, which uh, comprises of both auto and non-auto, as well as it's got uh, uh, e-powertrain that they're focusing on, plus some of the components like sensors and uh, cables and levers and et cetera from the Excel acquisition, right? Then we got the electric mobility, which is the two-wheeler, three-wheeler under the Ampere and the Greaves brand name. And then we got the Greaves retail, which is the post-purchase solutions. Uh, and wherein we got multi-brand spares, multi-brand service, and multi-brand retail. So when you look at it, three distinct verticals, each one of the verticals is growing uh, uh, post-COVID. And I think that's kind of one of the reasons why we reported one of our strongest ever quarters. We also have a very talented leadership team that we've hired over the last uh, couple of years, and which is uh, the result uh, is being shown. Right. Thank you. I would also like to ask you about uh, raising more capital uh, in FI24 and what will future investments go towards? Since March 2022, you have raised and committed close to 1,500 crores for new products, manufacturing, R&D and brand building. What will be the next phase of investments and what will they go towards? Yeah, thank you for recognizing that. I think, as you know, Greaves... Uh, uh, in the electric mobility space has uh, been one of the early movers. And as part of that, we have committed capital, which has uh, gone on for manufacturing facility at our mega site in Ranipet. Uh, then we've also made a string of acquisitions. We've also invested in our technology center in Bangalore and uh, also investing in new products. In the Auto Expo, we showed six new products. So now, uh, you're absolutely right. Last year, we raised about uh, 150 with an option to go up to $220 million uh, as part of the electric mobility. That was primarily for areas of product, manufacturing, capex, uh, and marketing and brand building. And uh, we believe uh, uh, with the current business plan and what we are executing, uh, that's kind of where we are and where we are looking for. And we'll continue to keep uh, uh, reviewing the business needs. And as and when uh, we need more, we'll come back to the market. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you mean to say, Nagesh, that immediately the, the brand, the company, does not foresee the need for any uh, fresh investments this year or raising any capital? Uh, right now, that's correct. We just raised money last year. We still have an option to get an incremental 70 million dollars from the same partner right uh the 150 million dollars was drawn down last year we have the option to go up to the 220 million mark which is a 70 million tranche too so i think uh, uh, the company is focused on getting the products out i think uh, our uh, plant and the capacity and the supply chain uh, is in place now so i think i think we are in decent shape for this year yes that is correct okay any capacity expansion for electric two wheelers uh, electric components which is planned at your facilities yeah. so i think uh, uh, two aspects so on the electric mobility side when you look at our rani pet plant we have already capacitized it for about half a million units we took that plunge last year ahead of the uh, uh, demand. 
And I think we are ready. In two ships, we can go up to half a million units, right? And our three-wheeler plant in Hyderabad is also well capacitized. Uh, as it relates to the component business of Reeves Cotton, uh, yes, you're going to see incremental capex being spent in the area of electric powertrains, be in the area of motors and controllers, uh, as well as in the area of Excel, uh, where they have a lot of... Uh, newer products like sensors and some of that other areas that they are servicing the heavy truck and the bus industry, right? So you're going to see that. So yes, uh, plant capacity is already uh, done in the case of electric mobility. In the case of Greaves Cotton, they will continue to look at and adding capacity as and when uh, that uh, ecosystem evolves. Okay, you're saying that you will make investments towards a component business. Uh, how much investments would go towards that? Yeah, so if, when we talk about the overarching um, plan, right? I think the uh, oh, in terms of the electric mobility, we've already discussed. On the component side, we continue to invest every year, right, uh, roughly about 100 crores, and that kind of uh, roadmap will continue to happen uh, in uh, the near future. But it will be in the area. In the past, you have spent investment in terms of the regulatory upkeep of our products, getting it to, for example, taking our engines to BSX or CPCB4 in the case of our genset engines. But going forward, I think a lot of the investment, uh, both in terms of uh, the e powertrain or in terms of the components for Excel, hmm. right? Hmm. That's kind of where you're going to see the investment, and it will be upwards of 100 crores. Okay. Uh, how many uh, new electric vehicle products would, will you launch this year in the two-wheeler space and the three-wheeler space? Yeah, so in the Auto Expo in January of this year, we had shown six new products, uh, three on the two-wheeler, right? And uh, um, some on the three-wheeler. So if, in the last uh, two months, we've just launched the Zeal, which was our first product, the sub-70,000 rupees. Uh, that's been launched in the marketplace. Then we launched the Primus, which is our greater than the one lakh product that's out in the marketplace. So what we did was we were traditionally playing in that 80,000 to one lakh meet of the market segment. Now we're expanding to the left and we're expanding to the right. Uh, then we also have the next generation product, NXG, uh, both in the B2B and B2C. That is slated for later this fiscal year. So sometime before the end of the fiscal year that will get launched. So we've launched two, two wheelers so far post-auto expo, uh, two more yet to come between now and the end of the fiscal year. Okay, so that's the management of Greaves Cotton. The stock is down around half odd percent. Just want to point out another stock which is a little lower ahead of its numbers. That's Metropolis. That stock is down around two odd percent. It is coming out with its numbers today. Maybe the street is anticipating uh, some amount of tepidness in the numbers. Remember that Dr. Lal's However, uh, the numbers were flat on a year-on-year -year basis. The street was a little cautious with regards to the competition. But remember that the next day, uh, the stock went higher post the commentary from the management. So it'll be interesting to see what Petropolis delivers this time round. Well, uh, we need to take a break with the news that the mid-caps are holding in fine fettle, up around 8 tenths of percent. Up next, Jay Thakkar will join in to discuss some trading strategies. Stay tuned.